In what they call a tough decision, prosecutors opt against bringing a third murder case against Norman Clark. Authorities say he killed Brittany Eldridge and their unborn child. The case resulted in two mistrials and both times jurors failed to reach a unanimous decision. WBIR tenders reporter Stephanie Haynes joins us to explain the timeline of this case. Stephanie. John, this case spans six years and prosecutors say they are suspending charges. So if new evidence is found and they could refile the case, but here's how it began. In December 2011, 25 year old Brittany Eldridge was eight and a half months pregnant with Clark's baby. She already named the boy Zeke. One day she didn't show up for work. Eldridge's mother found her strangled and stabbed inside her Knoxville apartment. Police arrested Clark in 2014. In 2015, the case went to trial for the first time. Prosecutors contended that Clark didn't want the baby. Defense attorney said there wasn't any evidence linking Clark to the crime scene. The jury couldn't come to a unanimous decision. At this point, I'm going to uh, declare a mistrial and disband this jury. In January 2017, the state announced it would try Clark a second time for the double murder. His second trial began in September 2017 and lasted two weeks. This time, the jury deliberated for more than two full days before they came back saying they couldn't come to a decision, which resulted in a mistrial again. Thursday, District Attorney General Sharm Allen said, quote, as difficult as this decision is, I'm confident this is the appropriate one at this time. Now, Clark's attorney, Kit Rogers, told me he's relieved for Clark. Hopefully everyone can move on. Um, it's, I know it's a relief for Norman and his family and because um, he's been under bond conditions for five or six years now. So, so that, that's released now. Rogers also says Clark has always maintained his innocence. The attorney says he hopes there will be one day be closure for Eldridge's family. And 10 News has reached out to the Eldridge family but has not heard back. John.